Prayer with Apostle J.B. Makananiza. Touch your screen now. Today I believe all the problems that we are having are going to be left right here in this place. After the donkeys of Saul's father were lost, when he turned, his heart was changed. His heart was changed. Saul was found among prophets prophesying because of the Holy Spirit that fell upon him. What Saul was doing that day was a useless job. And God gave him an important job. What Moses was doing was following and leading ships. And God gave him a very big assignment leading a nation out of Egypt. What Joseph was doing was dreaming dreams. And when we reached Egypt, God gave him a big assignment, taking care of many nations. Yalaba city. What Hannah was going through, like yourself right now, you are childless. They are laughing at you. You are jobless. They are laughing at you. You don't have anything. They even ask you, where is your God? But when Hannah gave birth, when she gave birth, she gave birth to a prophet. When Joshua remembered the word of the Lord, when God was searching for somebody, he can make a leader for his people. Joshua was found to be worthy because he was having the right mindset. Remember what God has promised the children of Israel. Can we raise our hands? I want us to pray. Raise your hands, close your eyes. I will ask you, what is it that you are meeting in your life right now? What is your problem today? What is it that brought you to this house today? Maybe you are here for the first time. Maybe you are here, you told yourself, I want prayers. Some of us, we are here because we just want God to speak with us through his word. But the problem that you are having The problem that you are having is taking you to a destiny. A destiny that will amaze many. A destiny that will shake nations. Shake your neighbors. Shake your brothers and your sisters. When the brothers of Joseph saw and he took him to a room to show himself unto them. They cried and they knelt down because they started remembering what they've done to him. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? That problem is over. That joblessness is over. That trouble in your life is over. That disease in you is over. 
It is over today. That attack is finished today. The devil will never catch you anymore. The devil will never find you anymore. It is over today. It is over today. Your business will grow. Your business will flourish. Your business will stand. Your business will be visible. Your calling, God has called you. Your calling will be visible. They will know that you are a servant of God. You don't need anyone to speak about you. God himself will speak for you. God himself will speak that this one is my servant. I have called him. I have called him for the nations because he have loved us because he've chosen us he've made us to be what we are today he's chosen us amongst many so that we can come and show his kindness and his goodness in all the nations people want to know that he's God through you they're just trying you so that they can know and see if the God that you are serving is alive today I want to tell you don't forget where you're coming from. Don't get tired. Don't forget. Don't forget. Allow the Spirit of the Lord to take over you so that they may know that you serve a good God. You serve a big God. God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty, God Almighty, God Almighty, Master of everything, the Lord who stays on the promises of His word. I will never forget you. I will never forget you. I will never forget you, Lord. Lord, I will never forget you. I will never forget you, Jesus. I will never forget you, mighty God.